Hey everybody, this is Unknown Demon. Welcome back to Skyrim. Now, we have to talk to the Jarl of Whiterun because we just partly defeated Alduin and now we. He just kinda flew off. Yeah, he kinda made a little scared move and left. But, um, now we gotta go and try to capture one of his allies to find out where he went. Cool story, guard. Let's get to this. Okay. Lydia, you good? Got it. Follow me, Lydia. Hello. Hello, blood lady. Are you from Avatar? Red eyes, sweet. May the gods watch over you. What is it that you need? Okay. I need help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Yep. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Huh? What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city? Yep. The threat of war on my doorstep? It's the only way to stop the attacks. There must be another way. The risk is too great. Well, duh. The third is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Mm, I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Now oh, you're easy. Nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace. So I'm gonna find out him before it's too I want late. I to help you, Dragonborn, and I will. But I need your help first. Fine. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. Sorry. Okay. Then but we don't have to worry. I'd be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Got it. Leave that to me. I'll talk to the dude about holding a peace council. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Got it. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Okay, no problem. Nah, looks like we gotta talk to the Greybeards again. You know, my character really must hate me because I make him walk up in the mountains a whole damn lot. Jeez. Oh, he's Dragonborn. He's got the Dragon Blood. He likes mountains. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. Hate loading screens. Let's get up here. And talk to these gray beards. I don't know what they're gonna find do when they find out No Shave November is about to end. What will they be called? Huh. I don't know. Uh, no Shave November is about to end, so. Yeah. <laughs> now let's get in here. Damn loading screen. Okay. Gotta go and get, oh, talk to that guy with the arrow above his head that looks like a Sims character. Hello. Aldwin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Maybe. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture we are dragon. Not warriors. What is overlooked in the dragonborn? is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. Okay. 
Or about capturing Dragon. I need to help you to stop a war. Our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Uh, Jarl, whatever will help me. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards, they will listen. Has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. <laughs> so be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Okay, cool. Now... Okay, can I go talk to them? Now... What? Okay. Talk to Ulfric Stormcloak and talk to General Talios. Got it! Let's do this. Okay, so let's go talk to Mr. Stormcloak first. Hopefully that city doesn't hate me. <laughs> uh, come on, loading screen. I know you hate me, but please load for me. Come on. <laughs> oh. Wait, where am I going? Over here? Okay. Oh, don't drop my... Don't do that. <laughs> don't bring out the sword already. Come on. Damn, people with Daedric armor think they're all badass and all. Okay, we gotta go head over here. But it's our fight, kinda like, uh, I feel a little different in my type of commentary. I'm, I'm on a mess of sleep schedule and I'm trying to recover. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm kinda delusional. I'm, I've only had like, three hours of sleep. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a yarl without summons. Okay. Yes. I was at hell again. Ah, yeah. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I uh, said, Freak, we got everywhere. I came to fight the Empire. City vouch for me, okay. Alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man. But he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always <laughs> looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. <laughs> Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. And what would you have me do? Okay. He's not with us. He's against us. He knows that. They all know that. Wait a second. I got a message from the Greybeards. Where we can best use your talents. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? Want to negotiate a truce until Dragon Menace is dealt with. respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. <laughs> I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this. Unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin. Yep. The world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yep. Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. How long? Got are you it. To wait. You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? <laughs> if by message you mean shut. So that dude knows how to shout too, huh? Hey, you're the one who killed Elaine Gafon up in Ralbethar. Oh yeah, word about that got around. Man was a piece of bandit trash. That's what I hear. Yep. That's me. I think. I don't know. I haven't recorded in a while. <laughs> Been kind of sick too. 
So I completely forgot what he did, and uh, I've been actually playing my free play character. I have a character that I play not for recording, and right now he is level 38. Yeah, about 38. <laughs> and uh, his playstyle is what's gonna be happening in the future. Oh yeah, they had a head chopping around here. That's right. Missing out on some wonderful opportunities. You're the guard from the college. Heard about you. Nope. Well, maybe. I don't know. The one that bought all the Deja cards? Yeah, that's me. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any building. Heard this dude is a uh, arrow generator right there. Let's take some steel arrows before I go in there. You know, five arrows, five heads. Why not? Okay, let's talk this foo. I remember you. You look like you were at Helgen. Yep. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. Uh someone here. here. Then there's nothing further to discuss. I have a message Grey from the Grey Barrett. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss <laughs> as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. Wow, what a prick. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Off because I agreed to attend. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. Okay. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Welcome yes, to the council then? Yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. <laughs> He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. Hey, white run, that's where I live. Okay, I am literally doing this from a neutral standpoint. So you're about to see what happens in a negotiation when you're neutral. But I heard it changes if you pick a faction, so keep that in mind. It'll be different if you pick a uh, Stormcloak or Imperial. I haven't picked one, so... <laughs> Should be interesting. No, let me see. Okay. Open High Hrothgar. Let's get going. Hello. Hello, sir. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. Now, Got I should it. not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Uh, peace? Okay. <laughs> I doubt it. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. So, wars don't end. Pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Where does this greybeard get the idea to tie his beard in a knot? It's like... Pull it. Like, all these other guys have normal beards, but look at this one. He's got like... Little knot or something. It's a so, weird beard, dude. Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. <laughs> you're going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. <laughs> we have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the dragonborn on this path. Okay. Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. 
the matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You will a lot of RP here. I feel like I'm gonna miss some stuff, which is pretty damn bad. Hmm. Hero. Okay, let me take my seat here. Take my chair. Lydia, you good? Okay. I just gotta wait for them to get over here. Where are they? Hey, can I drink from this? Oh, I can just take it. Can I take your drink? <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Ah, no. I'll take my seat again. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I'll take your tanker too. What year? Oh, I, don't, I can't reach yours. No! Whoops, my bad. Come on. Never have me at a dinner, by the way. Look, 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 look. Oh. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Oh, but I want to drink this stuff. Damn it. I hope that we have all come here.